YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a empties video and I want to share with you guys what I've used up and if I will repurchase and purchase again. I say this every time, I love watching videos like these because it shows you your genuine opinion as to the product you use daily or monthly, religiously, whatever. I feel like this is the perfect way. It's the most organic way as well. So you know that you're not getting sponsors. It's like legit. So I would take the opinions more serious. Here's my bag of empties. First is this oil-free eye makeup remover. This is the Up and Up brand. You can get at Target. I like this one. It actually it says it's comparable to Neutrogena. If you guys don't know the Up and Up brand, it's basically a like a knockoff version of the real brand. It's their own brand, and this is called Up and Up, and it works really well. I feel like this one's actually a little bit less greasy feeling because it is oil-free. Technically, the other one's supposed to be oil-free too, the Neutrogena one. But I feel like this one is even better. It has that, I want to say like a natural finish. Fragrance free basically, I believe. It just has aloe and cucumber extract to help soothe skin. Definitely great for contact wearers. It's great for sensitive skin because I have really sensitive eyes. My eyelids tend to be very thin. This works wonders. Next up is this Mario Badescu skincare. This is the facial spray with aloe and cucumber and green tea. If you guys notice, I love aloe cucumber on the skin. It's just very refreshing and it just hydrates and replenish. Feels very pleasant on the face as well. This one is really good. I got this, uh, I believe at Nordstrom a long time ago. It came with a set with the giant glycolic gel cleanser and I love that one. I use it all the time in the shower to remove makeup as well as clean the face all in one. This is a good one. It's a good spray. The bottle's really nice. It mists very nice too. It's not like like the Fix Plus from MAC. It's like not like shooting at you. It actually mists fairly nicely. So I might reuse this bottle. This is the Dove Beauty Finish Moisturizing Cream. This is the deodorant the aerosol can. I usually get mine at like, if you're lucky, you can find them at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, all those places. And these are the jumbo size. And I love that it's big, so I can actually, it lasts way longer. I'm the type that where I don't really sweat that much on my body. So a little bit goes a long way. I literally just miss one and one, that's it. But if you are more like a sweaty type of gal, boy, this works really good too. Just miss about two smiths. I feel like it's hyperallergenic because my skin is very sensitive. Over the years, I got really sensitive to any type of like stick um, deodorants and they were really irritating my skin. And because I started like itching, it started giving me a rash and then the rash turned to a scar, to this like dark pigment under there. But by using this, it just prevented all that. It, it eventually healed and went away. So I don't have to like feel itchy anymore, which is great. And it still does the job to preventing any sweat glands coming out. I highly recommend. It keeps you very refreshed. You can use this as a touch up too. Sometimes I use this like between my cleavage because I have a, a bigger chest area. So it tends to get really like sweaty sometimes if it's a really hot day during summertime, especially is when I usually use it. So definitely recommend this. I also used up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Stay In Place Foundation. So this one is in shade Intensity 1.0. I believe they might still have this online. I'm not for sure. I know everyone's on the hype of Estee Lauder Double Wear. If you guys know me very well, if you get by now, you probably watch a lot of my videos, you guys know that I'm more of a medium coverage type of girl. Buildable medium. This guy is perfect for that category. If you don't want like heavy, cakey face, Especially during spring and summer, it's around the corner, you can feel really warm. This is the way to go. So this gives you the coverage of like evening out the skin tone, cover up some blemishes here and there, but it's not going to be like a blanket veil over your face. It actually feels very lightweight, especially if for you, let's say this is still a little too heavy of a coverage for you, you can mix a little bit of your moisturizer with it and just literally blend it in and it'll work seamlessly. So I do highly recommend this guy and I would definitely purchase this again. All right, so this is the Lancome Tonic Comfort. So it is comforting rehydrating toner for dry skin. I purchased this because I felt, I thought, I know I'm combo skin. You guys are wondering why am I getting this for dry skin? I just thought from the way it looks, I thought it would be very gentle on the skin. It feels amazing. But it wasn't. It 
was kind of pricey and I felt like it was like causing my skin to feel a little bit of a burning sensation and I don't think that's normal. I think I might be allergic to something in here in this particular item. So I wouldn't recommend it if you have super sensitive skin but it could just be me. Maybe it'll work for you. But I do feel that it did definitely replenish my skin for hydration. But once again, I don't have extreme dry skin so I don't need this. Especially after my allergic reaction to it, I feel like I'm more like, I don't want to use that again. But I did manage to use basically all of it up. It took me a little while, like a year and a half to finish this giant bottle. But yeah, I wouldn't get this again personally. So no, this would be a no for me. Oh, this is called Woman by Ralph Lauren. Opens up like a uh, flask or a match, like a lighter. So super cute. This one smells so feminine. Like, it smells like a little bit of a powdery note to it mixed with a gentle floral scent. I like my notes more floral when it comes to fragrances, but I don't like them too sweet because when it's too sweet, I feel like it's overwhelming, overpowering, and it tends to give me a headache personally. I don't like smelling too sweet. So this is perfect because it, I feel like it's a nice filter for the floral sweetness, but has that dilution in it like the powdery note to help balance that out so definitely go and get a sample if you can i believe they have it at sephora probably have at macy's as well maybe even ulta go smell it first before you purchase make us get a sample if you can but i highly recommend and this i would purchase again so this is the lositon it's hard to pronounce enunciate let me see it's creme perfectrice so i I think it's called a perfecting cream. This one was actually really, really nice on the skin. I felt like it really gave me comfort on the skin, if that makes sense. It was very soothing and smooth. It smells like a slight flower, flowery scent. So I highly recommend this. It works really well. I just feel like it's a great moisturizer. I usually have to combine it with sunscreen just so I can use it during the daytime. Definitely highly recommend this guy. This one ended up being all broken, but this is a Makeup Forever eyebrow pencil. It's very much like the definer from Anastasia. Works really well. The color is... I forgot what the color is. I think it's like a dark gray, dark brown. It's more cooler undertone because my brows tend to be very dark. I recommend anything like this with a little angle. I like the triangular angle if you guys know what I'm talking about. Just because I have a lot of hair on my brows, but is very light in color. So this will actually give me a very good brush of color to the brow. The brush, fully was actually really good. I'm surprised. So I do recommend this if they still have it. I'm not sure. It might be, have to be on the Makeup Forever website to get this. Just saying. Another brow pencil I finished up. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in shade Dark Brown. The shade right now is a little bit light for me. It's a little bit too warm for me because my hair, once again, is very dark. And this is my natural hair color, by the way. So I recommend the definer over the Wiz. If you have no brow hair, like barely anything, this will be the guy because this has the very narrow... It can actually do the brush strokes very nicely versus filling in quickly like the definer does. So the definer will just brush it in very quickly because I have hair, it's just that it's very dim. But if you have no hair, this would be perfect for you guys. All right, another skin product I finished is this Kate Somerville Eradicate. So this is a drying solution for any pimples, breakouts, acne. This is very handy for me because I tend to have very like random um, pimples here and there, more so during the Mother Nature Week. So I have random like pop-ups here and there. This is the guy. And I know that a lot of people use the Mario Badescu one. So I ended up getting the Mario Badescu one after I tried this one out already. So this one's actually not bad. I feel like it's actually really good. The only thing is that you got to be careful not to touch it at all when it's on the face. Because once you touch it, I feel like it has this burning sensation near your eyes. It's like putting sunscreen in your eyes. That type of feeling. So it really, really burns. And really, you got to really be careful. I usually tend to apply this before bed so I know I won't be touching my face when I'm sleeping. But if you're using it during the day, just be aware if you touch it at all, wash your hands right away. Or don't get it near your eyes at all because it will burn. 
the crap out of you. This is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer. This is in the shade Light Medium. I'm glad they make colors now for our different skin tones. Since I'm very fair, this is the Light Medium coverage one. Light Medium skin tone, sorry. So it comes with a little uh, felt dome foot tip, kind of like a lip gloss type of deal. You can use this as a gloss too, like as a muting your lip color, your natural lip color to apply a lipstick. This will be easy peasy to apply on, on the go. But this stuff works really good, guys. It actually does help your pigment stay on very long and as well as bring out the pigmentation a lot better versus using just concealer. It's hard to find a good primer for eyes but this is one of them that I want to say you should definitely get because it lasts fairly long. It lasted me like a year or if not more, like almost two years to be honest. I don't be like, you know, leaving it open like this so it's not going to dry out so fast. It actually lasts very, very long. I recommend this guy for sure. Another fragrance I use that this is the Love Swept by Philosophy. So I love this fragrance. Too much. I'm so sad that it's limited edition. I don't see this anymore on philosophy.com or Sephora. I really like the scent. I like this more than the regular, usual Amazing Grace or Pure Grace. I feel like this one has a little bit more of that girly touch to it. And I feel like the bottle just matches the scent really well. But yeah, I'm sad there's no more of this one. Um, you know, try to find it somewhere, maybe on one of those limited edition sites or something, or eBay, or something of the sort. But I highly recommend this one if you guys can get a hold of this. If you guys like scents like floral like I do, you'll love this guy. I use up my very first DUP eyelash um, fixer adhesive. So this is the eyelash glue, the Japanese brand, and this one's the dry black. So hence that it's black. This guy works so well, like it makes my lashes stick on to my eyes so easy like i don't know how to explain it it dries fairly quickly everyone's used to the duo lash glue this guy dries fairly quick you don't have to wait and it just sticks on very well it doesn't slip and slide i don't have to worry about it falling off especially during like windy days or teary eye you know once you get teary eye a little bit on a corner it lifts right away or in the inner corner it lifts right away this doesn't do that it actually stays but highly recommend this guy. I believe it is like $13 that you can find on either Amazon or if you have a Japanese Asian market store, this will be there as well in the cosmetic aisle. And I've tried my fair share of lash, lash glue, by the way. I've tried Revlon, Duo, Kiss, like all those other ones that people recommend. It does not compare to the one I just said, okay? Trust me. Go try it. So highly recommend this guy if you have never tried it. Number one favorite for me for lash glue. <laughs> I used up a fresh uh, lip balm. This is the classic um, no color shade. I don't believe this has SPF on it. Usually the other ones has SPF. I don't think this one does. It's like a very lemony scent naturally. Highly recommend that. It hydrates your lips very well. I used up the Glam Rock Glitter Liner from Urban Decay. This is just a silver glitter liner. Um, I had this for a very long time. It's really really cute when you apply it on it has a sparkle I love that the tips are very sharp so you can get that precision you want And I mostly use this for like either the wing or the inner corner for a little bit of sparkle But it works really well I recommend that as well. Last but not least another fragrance. This is Chloe. This is called C by Chloe. One of my all-time favorite scents I'm so sad because like I'm basically out but I did already get another one and I already replenished on that as I'm spraying myself the rest of this because I don't want to waste to say it but the bottle is so cute it's nice and sturdy very luxurious this thick glass the bottle reminds me of like either a beautiful bird cage or like a wonderful Cinderella Disney type of poofy dress like the bottom of it so pretty. Highly recommend it if you guys are in the market for any fragrance as well. This one is not limited edition, thankfully, and it is online as well. So that completes my empties videos. I hope you guys enjoy this and find this useful and do thumbs up if you haven't and subscribe and turn on your notification bell just so you guys are in the know of when I do upload. I'm gonna try to upload more often on my main channel. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!